Henry. 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 Okay. The mission of the Duke Canine Cognition Center. One, two, three. Go. Is to understand dog psychology in a way that people really haven't been looking at dogs until very recently. <laughs> Dogs have shared an evolutionary history with us over the last 10 or 15,000 years at least. Um, they solve problems more like we do, uh, uh, in many cases, uh, more like we do than our closest relatives, uh, chimpanzees and bonobos. We want to study people's pets because there's no dog on the planet that's more sophisticated than a dog that has to manipulate or understand uh, what its owner wishes and what its owner is trying to uh, uh, get it to do. Henry. Henry. One of the games that we are presenting is a very simple game to try to understand how uh, dogs understand our gestural Henry. communication. Here we go. Good job, Henry. The question is how do dogs understand that information and how do they use it? No we want to understand what is the effect of domestication on dog psychology? Too. We'll let them meet and then we can right, know. Yeah. And then maybe he'll calm down. Hello, this is Bruno. Why is it that some breeds solve problems differently than others? Where is it? I don't have it. Since he's doing so good, we're just going to use his gaze or which cup he's clo standing closest to is his choice. The goal of all the research is really to understand what is it about our species that is uh, so unique or different. What is this crazy business you're making me do? He's like, why don't you just give me the food?